Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to discuss about how to find the transfer function impulse response and step response for the given circuit. Okay. So here they have given RC circuit where the input voltage is given by VI of T capacitor which is nothing but your V0 of T. So from the term itself we can find out that this is the problem in third unit right so where we are uh, discussing about the continuous time systems okay so since they have given the circuit first let me apply the laplace transformation okay first apply the kvl apply laplace transformation for the given equation so this is the circuit And we have V0 of T across the capacitor and we have R. The current is given by I of T. So apply KVL for the given circuit. So V I of T is given by R I of T plus since it is capacitor we have 1 by C integral I of T dt. So this is the equation for the whole circuit and particularly they have given V0 of T across the capacitor. So we can write V0 of T as 1 by C integral I of T dt. So this is the first equation, this is the second equation. Apply Laplace transformation for both the equations. So when you are applying Laplace transformation for the first equation, V i of t becomes V i of s, R i of t becomes R i of s plus 1 by c. For integral i of t dt we have i of s by s. So when we apply Laplace transformation for second equation, we have V0 of S equal to 1 by C I of S by S. So now From both the equation, when we see here we have V i of s, here we have V naught of s. Generally, how will you find out your transfer function? So the transfer function is given by output by input. So if it is so, how will you write your expression? Generally, we have y of s by x of s. But here in this circuit they have given V0 of t. So the transfer function is given by V0 of s divided by V i of s. Okay. So this is what we are going to find out. So in both the terms when I check in both the terms I have i of s as a common term. Okay. So we can find out what is I of S and we can substitute in another equation such that we can get the V0 of S by V I of S term. Okay. So V I of S is given by take your I of S commonly. We have R plus 1 by C S. So this I can write it as I of S into R C S plus 1 divided by C S by taking the LCM. So R C S plus 1 divided by C S. Okay, so this is one equation. From here I can write I of S is given by so cross multiply C S into V naught of S. Okay, so this is V I of S, this is V naught of S equation. So V naught of S by V I of S we are going to find out. 
so for that first i need to substitute this i of s here okay so let me consider this is fourth equation this is third equation so substitute i of s in 3 okay so what i'll be getting v i of s is equal to c s v naught of s into r c s plus 1 divided by c s so anyway this c s this c s get cancelled v naught of s by divided divided by v i of s is given by 1 by r c s plus 1 ok so are you able to understand first apply k v l for the given circuit ok first apply k v l for the given circuit and apply laplace transformation for both the equation and in both the equation the common term is i of s so find out what is i of s and substitute in another equation and find out what is v naught of s by v i of s so the transfer function v naught of s by v i of s is given by 1 by r c s plus 1 ok so usually we will be having the terms as s plus the term in laplace ok so in order to rewrite your expression i am writing that taking r c outside ok taking r c outside i can write this term as s plus 1 by r c right take your r c outside this becomes s this becomes 1 by r c now see I can take to the numerator as 1 by RC. Okay. So now I have to find out what is impulse response. So for impulse response, always my input is given by del of t. Okay, meaning that V i of t is del of t. So v i of s is given by 1. So, using that term, I can write your transfer function as v naught of s divided by 1 is equal to 1 by r c divided by s plus 1 by r c. So, anyway, my v naught of s is 1 by r c into 1 by s plus 1 by r c. So, apply inverse laplace transformation v naught of t is given by 1 by r c into so for l inverse of 1 by s plus a we have the formula e power minus a t e of t ok so using that i can write the expression e power minus 1 by r c t e of t So, this is the impulse response. Okay. So, next we need to find out your step response. So, for finding your step response, we need to take your input as step signal u of t. Therefore, here v i of t is given by u of t v i of s is given by 1 by s already we know that v naught of s by v i of s is given by 1 by r c into s plus 1 by r c so taking v naught of s equal to take v i of s to the right hand side so v i of s is nothing but s 1 by s so i will be having s into s plus 1 by r c term ok so, if you want you can write one more step v naught of s is 1 by r c by s plus 1 by r c into v i of s ok. So, already we know that v i of s is given by 1 by s. So, put 1 by s. So, we will be getting 1 by r c in the numerator 1 by s into s plus 1 by r c. You can also write denominator as s plus 1 by r c into s also it is your wish. 
So, now apply Laplace transformation because I cannot find out your inverse Laplace directly. So, apply inverse Laplace transformation. So, before applying inverse Laplace, I have to apply partial fractions. So, I have A by S plus B by S plus 1 by RC. So, here in the left hand side numerator is 1 by RC. So, right here. So, A. So, already S is there. The term which I have to multiply is S plus 1 by RC. Already S plus 1 by RC is there. So, I have to multiply S. So, we have two terms A and B. So, substitute S equal to minus 1 by RC as well as substitute S equal to 0. So, when S equal to minus 1 by RC, here left hand side 1 by RC equal to this term get cancelled B into minus 1 by RC. So, which implies B is equal to minus 1. 1 by RC, 1 by RC get cancelled. S equal to 0. So, 1 by RC equal to A into 1 by RC. So, 1 by RC, 1 by RC get cancelled. You will have A equal to 1. Okay. So, A value is 1, B value is minus 1. Okay. Substitute that here in your V of S. So, V naught of S is given by 1 by S minus 1 by S plus 1 by RC. So, apply inverse Laplace transformation. So, V naught of T is given by for 1 by S Laplace inverse of 1 by S is U of T. So, U of T minus so, 1 by S plus A already we have seen that E power minus 1 by R C T U of T. Okay. So, this is the step response for the given problem. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.